Do you want to learn what is the power of your dreams and what is it that it can truly manifest for you in your life? If that's something that you'd like to learn and talk about, this is exactly what I'm going to be sharing here in today's episode. This is Dr. Gopika Kumar, your communication and mindset coach. Let's get started with it right here. When I talk about the power of dreams, the first aspect and the person that I would want to give this credit to is of course, regardless, is Napoleon Hill. Somebody who really talks about creating wealth and being able to create it in the right perspective in your life. And it all starts, by the way, from the power of your dreams. Now you might probably be thinking that is this completely which is like a world of illusion where you're wanting to stay in? Of course not. This is exactly what I'm going to be elaborating here in this very video, which is with the power of your dreams, how you're able to manifest what you want to attract in your life. And it's going to have a three step blueprint process to it. Let's target the very first aspect. The first aspect says that to manifest the power of dreams, the first aspect that we really need to do here is have a positive mindset, which means creating our surrounding and our environment with the people, with the environment that we are in to create a mindset, which is being able to first of all, believe in the aspect that it can happen. And that's where it all starts from, which means that the positivity that we're being able to create in the power of our dreams. And I know that every day is not a Sunday. It might not be the best day where we're going to feel extremely confident about that. I'll be able to achieve what I want to achieve. But I can tell you it all starts from the aspect of believing in your conviction that yes, it can happen and it will happen. And that's exactly what Napoleon Hill also talks about as a part of the power of dreams. The second aspect in this blueprint really talks about visualization, what we also call this as creative visualization. So you have a positive mindset, but what is it that you want to visualize with the power of your dreams? And I want you to paint this picture and I want you to paint this picture, not black and white. I want you to paint this picture with colors in it. I want you to see and how is it that you envision yourself. So for myself as a speaker, as a trainer, as a coach, I envision myself onto a canvas where I have thousands of people where I'm being able to create an impact. And that's the kind of a creative visualization that I have for myself. And the power of dreams has it that we have numbers and the years fixed to it as well. So we need to be precise with what is it that we need to achieve. We need to give it a time and a year. We need to give it a number on what is it that we need to achieve and make it as realistic as possible so that we can literally visualize on what is it that we would like to achieve for ourselves. So there was a time when I used to always say that I want to address more than 6,000 plus people in an auditorium. And there was a time when I had a gathering of more than 12,000 plus people, not only in an auditorium, but in a stadium. And that was right here in Delhi where I was completely anchoring the entire event and I had this visualization, this entire imagery right in front of my eyes, you know, and this has already happened at various milestones in my career only because that entire vision and that visualization was completely clear. So keeping a positive mindset and doing a creative visualization, which has been the one of the most popular techniques to make sure that we've been able to manifest the power of our dreams. And the third aspect here is to be able to make sure that we follow a mentor. So creative visualization is all all right, but it can also be all in the air and can, can completely vanish away if you're not really following the footsteps of a mentor. And what do I really mean by this here is that when I visualize myself here as a speaker, as a trainer, as a coach, I have my mentors in place thereby as well. So I'm a big, big follower of Lisa Nichols. She's one of the most legendary speakers that I have come across. And I envision myself with a positive mindset, with a creative visualization and the work that she's been able to create for herself 
already existing in this lifetime and being able to see that herself as a mentor for my life and thereby being able to now see the trajectory that how we can achieve the power of our dreams. I have Michelle Villalobos. She's a completely creative communicator. I follow a mentor because that's where you want to envision yourself and being able to see the kind of work that you'd like to create in a similar space like your mentor has already been able to create for yourself. I follow one of my most favorite mentor which is Vanessa Van Edwards and a complete work talks about soft skills, talks about communication. There are numberless elements and areas that I love to talk and hear and learn from Vanessa Van Edwards and only and only because I've been able to learn from my mentors, I exactly know what is the power of my dreams. It showcases with my positive mindset that I'm continuously keeping to make sure that I strive to achieve the power of my dreams. So for you to be able to create the manifestation for your dreams to become real, this is all that we really need to start off with for today, which is to make sure that we have a mentor, that's the backstage process, to visualize the kind of work that they've been able to create already and what you can follow in their footsteps and thereby start to create the surrounding and people around you with the right mindset thereby as well. Start creating these positive affirmations and you will start to witness a whole different gamut of experiences for your own power of dreams thereby as well. Do share your comments and feedback on how you've been able to enjoy the content of these specific set of videos. We continuously keep coming back with many more such ideas and I would love to literally read that in the comment section thereby as well. Do stay connected with us. I hope that you've already subscribed to our channel to now continuously keep the updates about all our latest updates on our channel thereby as well. We keep coming back with this and many more in future for today. This is Dr. Gopika Kumar signing off.